Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This is the first lesson in a new series of beginner harmonica lessons. So if you've just got the instrument, you're not sure what to do with it, you're in the right place. I'm gonna teach you the fundamentals and the important techniques that you need to know as a beginner harmonica player. So in today's lesson, we're gonna get used to breathing through the instrument and we're gonna learn this rhythm piece. Kind of a train imitation sometimes called chugging and it's a really important thing to learn as a beginner harmonica player. All of the ideas that I'll be putting into this course are taken from a premium course on my website learntheharmonica.com and that course is called the complete beginner course. It's a step-by-step -step course going through lots of techniques, single notes, bending, warbles, and also loads of songs as well. It takes you through your whole first year of learning from day one right up to the end of the year. So if you're interested in enrolling uh, on that course, then check the link in the description. So today's free lesson is gonna cover two key concepts when we're looking at this uh, rhythm exercise. We're gonna be thinking about breath control, and we're also gonna be thinking about tone. And they are real pillars of uh, learning your beginner technique. So, first off, so that we've got good breathing and breath control, we're gonna stand up straight, look straight ahead. I know it's tempting to crouch over and you look cool and bluesy, but look straight ahead, uh, your breath's gonna be better that way. And hold the harmonica in your left hand with the numbers across the top, one to 10. The low note, number one, is on your left and the high note, on, number 10, on your right. And we're just gonna place it to our lips and breathe out gently through around holes one to three. And then breathe in or draw. And then we're gonna go back and forth, out and in. Doesn't sound like much to begin with, but we're gonna build on this. First off, with this breathing, you need to make sure that you are breathing, not heaving. So I often say this, breathe, don't heave, because heaving is where you <gasps> And if you do that, you'll uh, break the harmonica probably, or at least send it out of tune. You'll get uh, out of breath as well, and it just won't sound nice. The, the chords will be really kind of uh, restricted and sound a bit horrible. So you're trying to just let the air come in and out. No tension in your mouth, uh, no tension in your body either. Just breathe, it's just a breathing exercise. You're not thinking of playing really at this point. You're just kind of letting the air come in and out. And I cannot stress uh, too much the importance of this. It's so important that you've got this breath control. So we can take that uh, in and out, and we can start to articulate, okay? So what I mean by this is we're just using the flick of a tongue, or a flick of the tongue, um, to, to split up the note. So instead of a single draw breath, we're gonna go ta-ka, or at least we'll make that shape with the mouth. And we'll do the same on the blow. Okay, you can start it, uh, start to hear it starting to have a rhythm to it. And in terms of the tone, well, I said that we're gonna look at breathing control and tone. Tone is the overall sound of our playing. And in order to get the right tone with this, you need to make sure you're not uh, using your cheek muscles and you're not narrowing your mouth. That's something we need to do at another point in the course, later in the course, but at the moment, you just wanna keep your mouth basically the width it would naturally be if you were just, 
you know, just had your mouth closed or you're a bit gormless. Mm. Um, you're not trying to force it in at all. And that will give you that tone. You can try different consonants. You don't have to say tucker. You could say ada, lada, kada, tada, tala. You know, they'll give you different um, ways of articulating it, but the rhythm will stay the same. So our train rhythm is basically that, that in and out, tucker, tucker. And then just to finish it off, if you're feeling uh, confident, you can go a bit further up the harmonica, around holes four and five, and just say, ah, uh, ah, uh, on the draw. It's all on the draw, that bit. And again, if your breath control's good and your tone's good, you shouldn't uh, fill up with air too much there, because you're not, <gasps> you're just kind of, uh, duh which uh, doesn't do too much. So if you put those together, and then just some inspiration for the future, if you want to speed it up, Starts to sound really like a steam train. Uh, sorry, showing off there, but you know, that's that's what you're working towards. It's the exact same exercise, just sped up, uh, which is obviously a long-term thing. But if you'd like uh, to um, keep improving your tone and your technique, and you want to build on that train with them, then uh, join me for lesson two of this course. I'll be back soon with that when we'll be uh, building on what we've done today. And if you're really keen on learning the harmonica and you'd like step-by-step -step lessons through all of the important techniques, then check out my complete beginner course. I go through uh, single notes, bending, warbles, we look at loads of songs, um, all the cool stuff that I think is really important to beginners. And it takes you through from your very first day to a year a year's worth of lessons. Um, so check out the link in the description if you're interested in that as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson today. If you have, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell. That helps me and it means that you will be told every time I put up a new free harmonica lesson. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.